Are you struggling to stay consistent in most areas of your life? Let me keep it real with you. Actually, you're phenomenally consistent. You're consistent at starting and stopping. You're so consistent at not doing what you tell yourself you're gonna do on a daily basis. I want you to lock in with me. Consistency is everything. Consistency is credibility. And the things that you're most consistent at are a direct reflection of where you are in your life right now. It's so funny because I go to certain restaurants and my friends are with me. And I frequent them so much, I'm so consistent about going there. When the waiter or waitress sees me, they're like, you want your usual? And if I say something different, it shocks them. You have to get to the point where you're so consistent in the things that you say you want to do, it shocks your system when you don't do it. It shocks your system when you don't do them. But like I said, right now, you're suffering from a severe case of start and stop syndrome. Oh, you said you was gonna go on a diet. Started it, week later, stopped, couldn't handle it. Hated it. Oh, you said you were gonna stop messing with these type of people, be in a relationship with that type of person. Started it. Next thing you know, right back hanging with them, right back in a relationship with that person. Or you the person that's trying to wait for everything to be right before you get started. Consistency is not perfection. Getting started is everything. You have to give yourself a chance to be successful. So if you're really serious and want to learn how to be more consistent in certain areas of your life, the first thing you need to do, the first thing I did was I decided to make it a priority. I made a commitment. If you want to know how, you release a video every Wednesday for the last five years. If you want to know how, you host a youth basketball tournament every Saturday for the last 11 years. It starts with making a commitment and come hell or high water. I was gonna release a video and I am releasing a video every Wednesday. Come hell or high water, I'm gonna have a tournament every Saturday. You have to do the same thing. If you make a decision that you're gonna lose weight or you're gonna go on a diet or you're gonna really work hard to, to finish school this time or whatever it is you decide, you have to decide. You have to make it a commitment and nothing else can get in your way. And you have to be prepared for the things that will try to stop you. Things will happen that will make it easy for you to say, you know what, I'm not gonna do it today. But you gotta do it anyway because you made the decision and you made the commitment. That's the number one thing in consistency. Commit, decide, and do. Number two, surround yourself with tools and people who make it easier. I haven't decided to get that six pack yet. Decided to stay a little trim and, and work out a little bit and try to eat as healthy as I can, but I haven't made that decision and therefore I don't have a six pack. But it's funny because my wife has this, this fruit bowl at the house. And I was like, hey babe, would you give me a fruit bowl for my office? Because I have like candy and all kind of stuff up there. And I figured if I get a fruit bowl, I could throw some fruit and stuff in there. And that way when I'm snacking, because I'm a snacker, I'm snacking on more healthy stuff. Well, she got me the fruit bowl, but since I haven't made the decision to get the six pack yet, still a whole bunch of candy. Now it's in the fruit bowl. So I got a lot of work to do on that end. But as it relates to the things that I'm consistent about, say these videos. I got the video guru himself, Stephen Jones, shooting, helping me edit the videos. I got the man, the myth, the legend, the magnificent Mark Bryan, not only engineering, but also making the music that you hear that make these things just pop. So for you, whatever it is you're trying to be consistent at, you have to put the necessary tools in place and get the necessary people you need to help push you to stay consistent each and every day. And last but not least, number three, when you don't feel like it. And I promise you, there will be days and times that you don't, do it anyway. Sometimes you gotta trick yourself. I use this tactic all the time on myself. I'm like, Fry, just give it five minutes. And once I get started, nine times out of 10, I don't stop until I get finished. Use that tool to get started because the energy creates more energy. And before you know it, you don't even know why you didn't wanna do it in the first place. But I'll leave you with this. Like I said earlier, consistency is not perfection. So if you mess up, when you miss a day or you miss a time, don't beat yourself up. Pick yourself up. 
Because us as humans, we have a tendency to want to quit, go into this whiny pool, this pity party. No. Simply start all over again and learn from the mistakes. But I promise you this, when you consistently do the things that you say you want to do that are most important in your life, you will find yourself climbing over that hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Consistency is yours for the taking, so go get it. This is a great day to win. Let's go.